नमस्कार टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज दैट इज कोरोसन एक्चुअली टू सी दिस टॉपिक द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एराइजेस इन आवर माइंड दैट वॉट इज कोरोसन द आंसर विल बी Corrosion is a corrosion is a gradual degradation. Corrosion is a gradual degradation of degradation of metal by by. by chemical or electrochemical chemical or electrochemical reaction with with its with its environment okay so then what is the definition the definition is corrosion corrosion is a gradual degradation of metal by chemical or electrochemical reactions with its environment okay so then there are number of examples that we can see like rusting of iron uh, actually it is a it is an common example that is rusting of iron and uh, not only this we have uh, other examples like uh, like uh, like like formation like formation of greenish film greenish film on the surface of on the surface of copper metal uh, this is another example of corrosion actually uh, in copper metal copper oxide and copper carbonate copper oxide and carbon copper carbonate forms a greenish film on the surface of copper metal and then another example mm -hmm. uh, you can see uh, you can see a rusting of silver a rusting of silver and uh, and silver converts into into black color into black color due to the formation of its oxide so then it is a corrosion and uh, their examples now we are going uh, to discuss about theory of corrosion so then then theory of then theory of corrosion okay actually there are there are two theories there are two theories which can be uh, easily explain the entire process of corrosion which are number 1 number 1 chemical chemical corrosion or dry corrosion 
and number two is electrochemical electrochemical or wet or wet corrosion or wet corrosion okay we are first discussing about chemical corrosion or dry corrosion it occurs in absence of in absence of moisture or any solvent so the important point is chemical corrosion occurs when moisture and any solvent are absent uh, then chemical corrosion can further classified into can further classified into three categories like a b and c then a is oxidative oxidative corrosion b is b is other gases corrosion and c is c is liquid liquid metal corrosion so then there are three categories uh, oxidative corrosion other gases corrosion and liquid metal corrosion then first uh, we are going to discuss about oxidative corrosion a oxidative oxidative corrosion uh, in this corrosion metal react with metal this is metal metal react with atmospheric oxygen atmospheric oxygen and gets converted into gets converted into its oxide in this corrosion in this corrosion metal first metal first oxidize into metal ion and electrons are released so then this is metal and this is metal ion okay uh, this electron this electrons are accepted by atmospheric oxygen and converts into oxide ion so and we can write atmospheric oxygen and electrons here we need two electrons then 2 ne and oxygen gets convert into two oxygen metal ion okay 
then overall reaction will be uh, here we uh, we can see here is two electrons to any and here is only any so we can here multiply it by two so then this one and this portion is cancelled and 2m plus o2 and uh, if we add metal ion and oxygen ion then we will get m o and this is metal oxide metal oxide okay thus uh, this is the oxidative corrosion the second corrosion is the second type of corrosion is other gases corrosion other gases corrosion as we know uh, not only oxygen not only oxygen there are other gases have corrosive properties present in atmosphere then if corrosion takes place rather than oxygen it is considered as other gases corrosion uh, you know uh, like uh, carbon dioxide s2s and uh, halogens um, so2 cl2 and other gases have corrosive property so all these gases are considered as other gases corrosion if they are create corrosion okay the next type is the next type is liquid metal corrosion and c c is liquid metal liquid metal corrosion uh, in this type in this type of corrosion some anhydrous metals so their corrosive effect when flow in their carrier tubes uh, the well known example of anhydrous anhydrous sodium metal anhydrous sodium metal when it flow in carrier tube it creates corrosion in in inner wall of in inner wall of carrier tubes actually 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 sodium metal is used as coolant in nuclear reactor okay then there are three types of dry or chemical corrosion and i hope everyone is clear about dry corrosion and uh, and the uh, next uh, theory is the next theory is the next theory is the next theory is electrochemical the next theory is electrochemical corrosion or wet corrosion or wet corrosion
then uh, first of all what are the necessary conditions for this type of corrosion then conditions are number one number one is metal must be in in contact with with moist air or any solvent or the second condition is second condition is two two different metals are present in present in common solvent so these are two necessary conditions if these two necessary conditions are fulfilled then electrochemical corrosion takes place the first one is metal must be in contact with moist air or any solvent and second one is two different metals are present in common solvent okay it means in this type of corrosion moisture or solvent moisture or solvent moisture or solvent plays an important role actually in wet corrosion when metal is in contact with moist air or solvent there are two different areas are formed one is anodic area where anodic reaction takes place and second one is cathodic area where cathodic reaction takes place it means electrochemical reaction electrochemical corrosion or wet corrosion composed of two types of reactions that is anodic reactions and that is and cathodic reaction anodic reactions a number anodic reaction anodic reaction anodic reaction always always oxidation of oxidation of metal into oxidation of metal into metal ion okay so then it means m m is for metal m is on oxidation converts into metal ion and electrons like this then you can see uh, metal is converted into metal ion actually the area or portion where anodic reaction takes place is called anodic area okay and uh, anodic area always suffer with corrosion means corrosion occurs only at only at only at anodic area this okay okay then uh, in anodic reaction there is only one reaction metal is converted into metal ion and electrons okay and then second b b is a cathodic reaction b is a cathodic 
reaction okay in cathodic reaction uh, electrons electrons are consumed these electrons electrons are consumed in cathodic reactions which are released at anodic reaction okay actually the nature of cathodic reaction depends depends upon <coughs> sorry <coughs> oxygen 